Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sergeant Merrill. You gotta excuse the mess. This is my man cave. Well, I got a bunch of shit in here. So if it's messy, that's just the way it is. <laughs> Today I want to talk about uh, the Mass Effect 3 demo, my impressions of it. Uh, for anybody who's been with me for a while, you know I love Mass Effect. Mass Effect is my favorite RPG. Uh, I'm gonna say it hands down throughout all RPGs, Mass Effect is it. It's a perfect combination of action, storyline, 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 <laughs> and it just gives you this really customized experience where you're no longer worried about your character, you're worried about the Shepard character. And, and that's an interesting way to put it because no other game for me has really done that, where I'm so invested in a character that I no longer really think is mine, it, it, he is transformed into, into the, his own entity and I'm just... I'm just the viewer. I, I have control over it, which is interesting, uh, but I really want to see what happens to Shepard. I'm really emotionally invested in both him and the other characters. And no other game has really done it to that point uh, like Mass Effect has. Uh, but as, let's go ahead and... <clears throat> I'm a little sick. Uh, jump into this demo. Um, I want to say, while I was playing it, the first thing that really popped out is they upped the cinematography. Um, you know, that, that scene where the kid... Where you, you're first coming in and, and the kid's playing with the uh, with the, the the ship that's good cinematography you know that 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 shows that they're they're putting a lot more effort into making this just a a not really a movie but just more interesting to watch during the cutscenes and you see instances of that throughout the entire demo and I'm sure it's going to be even better in the actual game itself and uh, I was really happy to see them put so much effort into that Another thing you notice right out the start is just the staple of Mass Effect is very strong voice acting. Um, nobody really sounded dull. Uh, even the, you know, the people that were uh, secondary characters sounded like they had really strong uh, voice acting behind them, and it really adds to the experience. So that was something I also noticed right off the bat with the demo that I was really happy with. Um, and I also want to go ahead and cut to that that scene with the child. That for me was really cool for a couple different reasons. You know, one, not only was it cool because they stop the action, they go into this emotional scene uh, that, could, that can go in multiple different ways. Um, but I think there's a lot going on with that scene that we don't really know about just yet. I mean, something that popped in my head, think about this for a second, is that Shepard, I think, with this whole child, the child doesn't actually exist. I'm thinking that the child is uh, Shepard getting indoctrinated. And indoctrinization with the Reapers is very slow, and it happens to people in multiple different ways. And I think that's Shepard's way of slowly becoming indoctrinated, and you're going to see that child throughout the game uh, when it actually comes out. I think we're not done seeing that child. Even when you see the child step into that, um, step into that cruiser and, 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 and uh, supposedly get killed, I think it's just his way of becoming indoctrinated or fighting it the reapers are showing the helplessness of the situation and trying to break them down and that's the situation that I think is happening with that and uh, if that's the case I think it's brilliant uh, even if it's not I think it was a really good way to show you know just how how hopeless uh, people were, were feeling I don't know I'm, I could go on forever about that scene I thought it was really good uh, another thing I really enjoyed about the demo was the action in the background when you step out onto the side of the building in the, in the beginning of the demo, there is so much going on in the background. I mean, like for a second, I just stopped and I stared at everything that they had going on, and there was a lot of effort put into it. I mean, especially for something that was just such a, a short scene. I remember playing Deus Ex, and that was one of the number one things I hated. You're going down the elevator, you're staring out in the city, and the city is completely empty. There's like nothing going on. No ships flying around, no people walking around on the ground, and that is not the case here. You can sit there and just watch the action that they have going on in the background, and it's pretty damn intense. People running on the ground. You got ships that are fighting in the air. You know, so much going on, and I really appreciate that kind of detail. And that's the kind of detail that make detail that makes Bioware the superior developer. Um, also, really enjoyed the cutscenes. They were they were seamless. They flowed very well. I enjoyed that. Also enjoyed. The fact that when you were having a conversation sometimes, it didn't, didn't necessarily mean that you were stopping. You know, you weren't stopping to have a conversation. In Oblivion, the game completely paused when you had a conversation. 
Um, you know, and, and the games have done better to, to move conversations into the action and continue, you know, the pace of the game without completely stopping it. And they've done that really well, the moving conversations. You know, the one he was having with Captain, Captain Anderson while they were moving through the rubbish. Uh, I thought that was a really good scene, a really good way of incorporating conversations. Even at the beginning, when it's talking to uh, that new soldier, and they're moving past people, it flows really well. It makes it seem very natural, and uh, it, I really enjoy that. And again, the, the other thing that I remember from the demo that I really enjoy is the storyline. That is the main thing with Mass Effect. Um, they added that those uh, those new ways of enjoying Mass Effect. They have the storyline mode where Combat isn't really a big deal, and all you do is go through the storyline. And I think, honestly, that could be a viable way of playing the game if you're not really interested in Mass Effect's combat system. I, I think it's a really, really awesome storyline. There's rumors of it becoming a movie. I have no doubt because, I mean, this the storyline is outstanding. The characters are outstanding. If you have not played Mass Effect 1 and 2, don't you dare go get Mass Effect 3. I know that's intimidating. I know that's like a bad thing to say to people, but you're missing out. They find a way to insert you into the storyline, which is great. You're probably still going to love the game. People still love Mass Effect 2 without playing Mass Effect 1. But guys, you can import your save games from every game all the way back to Mass Effect 1, and every decision you make will come back in some way, shape, or form. I guarantee it. Something that you thought was so minuscule will come back in a way that will surprise you and make it worth playing the first one. The first one wasn't that great. The storyline was great, but the mechanics weren't that great. But it makes it worth it. It makes it feel like you have been with this character and it is, you know, you've been with this character the entire way. And that's just, that's a really incredible feeling that has not been replicated again. Uh, has not been replicated so far. So this is uh, just groundbreaking stuff, guys. Um, if you haven't played the demo, I highly encourage you to ch uh, check it out. It's really going to pump you up. Plus the multiplayer, I'm going to have some tips for that. But uh, that's all I have for this video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. You know, any likes? I'm not going to ask for likes and favorites. If you liked it, you're going to help me out. That's all I have for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is Sergeant Merrill, out here.